Hi guys. Happy hashtag <sighs> um, Freedom Friday. And what I mean by Freedom Friday is being free from what's holding you back. And, uh, you know, Nancy and I were coming back from the gym this morning and we were talking about all these things. Hi, Vani. Do I love seeing that as being the first person to pop on here? I love that. Love you, Vani. So if you're just popping on, and Cindy, love these people that are popping on. I love you guys. Good morning. So say hi. Let me know where you're coming in from. And, you know, I wanted to talk about, hi, Dana, what what I've learned, and, and I, you know, I want to give you, I don't want to make, to make this a big, big, long, drawn out thing. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Felicia. You know, I, I want to talk about loving yourself because it's, it's something that I was actually hired to speak on for a company coming up in a couple of weeks, self-love and, and just, you know, really, really loving yourself. And I, I want you guys to understand there, there are three things that I have found and, you know, even just talking with Nancy that, you know, why it's so hard to love ourselves. And, and number one is a lack of self-confidence, you know, and, you know, not being confident in your own skin, comparing yourself to others, you know, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I look too old, I need to get plastic surgery, my, my boobs are sagging, my butt, butt is sagging, my thighs touch together, you know, I hate how I look in this. Hi, Kelly, hi, Tammy, um, <clears throat> hi, Jenny. So for all the ladies out there, I mean, guys go through it too. I mean, I went through a very, very, um, you know, I went through a stretch of time where I had a lot of low self-confidence, but I hear so many women, you know, really, really being hard on themselves, you know, and, you know, confidence really shows. And, and Nancy and I were actually talking about it this morning. Um, Nancy, if, if you're, you're still on here, what was the name of the actress, the, the Australian actress from um, Pitch Perfect? Um, I forget her name. She, she's, a, she's a bigger, fuller-figured girl, and, you know, she, she really embodies self-confidence. You know, not even nothing, – nothing stands in her way. She, she literally – Rebel Wilson. Thank you, Nancy. So if, for those that don't know Rebel Wilson, she's a, she's a bigger, you know, comedian, but she just has this self-confidence that oozes out of her. And – it doesn't matter how big, how small. Hi, D. Hi, Jamie. I love all the women jumping on here. I love you guys. And, and here's the thing. I love all of you. And you guys need to look in the mirror and love yourselves. And the thing, Nancy and I were also talking about Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer, another real funny girl. She's, she's not thin. She's not big. She's, she's curvy. And she loves and embraces herself. Herself, she has such self confidence. You know, self confidence is attractive. It, it 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 exudes. It's sexy. So you know, when if you've had kids and you have stretch marks and you're afraid for people to see them, and if your body's not looking a certain way, you know, if, if you're feeling that certain way, exactly what Nancy says, she owns who she is. You guys have to own who you are. Faults, flaws. Good qualities, bad qualities, everything. You have to own who you are. If that makes sense, please type a number one in the comment section below. And for all my ladies on here, share this. Other women need to hear this. There is a huge need, a huge need for women to understand how powerful they are. And Cindy says, got to check them out. Have no idea who they are. Wow. I would love to be that self-loving. I'm on. Yes, you are on the way. Tara, thank you. Cindy, thank you. And again, share this. Women need to hear this. You guys are amazing, and you don't even realize it. All the things that you need to do, all the things that you're doing, running the family, working, building a business, you don't give yourselves enough credit. Have the confidence. Stand in your power. Stand in that power position. Let people know how confident you are and you don't care what other people say. All right, that's number one. Number two is being more selfless. So there's a lot of selfish people out there. And, you know, it could be from certain circumstances, but be selfless. Give, give, 
give. But that starts with being selfless to yourself. Give to you. Get massages. Get pedicures. Get manicures. Have your me time. Have your alone time. Focus on you. If you can't focus on you, you can't focus on anyone else. So where some people might see that as being selfish, it's selfless. Because when you don't take care of you first, it's impossible for you to take care of everyone else. Plain and simple. And you want to take care of everyone else. That's the natural progression of a woman. It's not your nurturers. You want to take care of everybody else. But who's the number one person that ends up getting the last amount of love? And it's you. And Kelly says, that's why my kids tell me I give too much of myself and I need to give to myself. If anyone is ever, and I'm, I'm going to be just playing it flat out, just I'm coming right at you guys right now. I want you guys to start taking care of yourselves better and first. And if anyone, family, spouse, friend, loved one, is ever giving you shit for you taking care of you first, they need to check themselves. Because everyone deserves to be the best version of themselves. And it doesn't matter what other people think. Because maybe they have to start taking care of themselves a little bit better. Because you come first. In all of these equations, the, the equation starts with you. And D says, love on yourself first. Absolutely, D from Baltimore. So if that all makes sense, if you're on here live or on the replay, type a number one in the chat box below just so I know that you guys are with me on this. Because you, do, you guys don't understand how powerful and amazing you all are. I mean, you guys inspire me. Like Seeing everything that you have to do as mothers, as women, as wives, as girlfriends, as wherever you are in your life. That is amazing. So that's number two. Number three is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe that you can accomplish things, if you don't believe that you deserve the best, if you don't believe that you deserve to have passionate love in your relationship as much as you want, as often as you want with the loved one in your life, if you don't believe that you can take time for yourself and just do you and just focus on you, if you don't believe in you, no one's going to believe in you. And this all links together. Your confidence, your selflessness, and your belief all form this amazing unit. So if you believe in you, you're going to start taking care of yourself first, which means you're going to have more confidence. So try this formula. Believe in you. Take care of you. And you're going to own who you are. Now, let me just ask you guys a question. And type this in the chat box. And Tara, you will believe in yourself. It doesn't cost a lot to love yourself. Absolutely. Thank you, Justine. Let me ask you guys something. How amazing, how amazing would it feel to love exactly who you are for who you are and what you stand for? How amazing would it be to feel that confident in yourself? And Kelly says, I am so good at giving love to everyone else, but it's hard for me to receive it for myself. Kelly, it's not hard. You just have to stop with what you're doing Look in the mirror and know that you deserve the love first. You got to love you because then the, the love just grows. So I want to ask you guys, how would it feel if you had just this endless amounts of self-confidence and belief in yourself? How would that make you feel? And again, I encourage you guys to share this in some women groups that, that you're in or, or team groups that you're in or on your personal wall. Women need to hear this message. It is amazing. It, and Sarah, yes, incredible. So you, you, have to, you have to block the noise. If you continue to think the same thoughts, it's going to lead to the same emotions and reactions. Thank you, Cindy. So, you, so just understand that none of this is, is a mystery. None of this is hard. All you have to do is decide, you know what? I'm going to believe in me 
and I'm going to find those people that believe in me too. And you know what? There's only one person that you require to believe in yourself, and that's you. When you believe in yourself, you're going to be more selfless. You're going to give to you, which means you can give to everybody else, and your confidence is going to go through the roof. It's not going to matter what people – Think about how your butt looks in a pair of jeans or your stomach might be hanging out or your boobs are sagging a little bit low or you have stretch marks and you don't want to put this bathing suit on because, oh, my God, what are people going to think? My stomach isn't flat. None of that matters because as Nancy said to me this morning in the car when we were coming back from the gym, she goes, what if I lost my leg tomorrow? And I didn't even have a leg to even be there to complain about. And everyone's like worried about, you know, my thighs are touching. What if you only had one leg? Would you rather have just one leg or would you rather have both of those legs? Even if though if your thighs touch, would you much rather have those two legs or just one? I want you to answer that for me right now. Would you rather have both legs even if they kissed or would you rather just have one disappear? Yeah, it's true. Chelsea, welcome. Cindy said, and don't judge your body. Don't judge your body. Again, it's great. Like, love, love yourself. Love yourself for who you are. You have, like, own your curves. Own your body. Because once you can own it, no one can ever take it away from you. So guys, remember, love yourself. Number one, be more self-confident. Own who you are. Number two, be selfless. Give to yourself. It's not selfish. Give to you. And number three, believe in yourself. I believe in you. I see all the greatness in every single one of you that are on here live and are going to be on the replay. But you have to believe in you first. Much love to you all. Enjoy this beautiful Friday, enjoy yourselves, and enjoy life. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.